How's it going everybody? Today I'll be showing you how to make a desk extension onto your current desk to take your desk from looking like this to this. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. So before having my desk, I had some nice pieces of equipment for my studio, but the space on top of the desk wasn't enough to hold my new setup, including a computer, keyboard, mouse, etc., a few other items. And it did do perfectly fine for the audio equipment I was using at the time, but it was in need of an upgrade to give a little bit of extra space so that I could fit a few other items on there. And so that is what my main goal today will be. And this is what we're going to need to do it. So we're going to need a standard drill as well as a few screws and a drill bit to sink those screws in. We will also need some laminate so that we can cover the wood instead of paint. The screws I used was a few two inch screws and then a few one and three fourth screws and I used a 1 8 drill bit to get the right size for these screws. Here are some of my pre-blueprints that I made. After I had a general idea of where I wanted to go, I did make an updated version of those blueprints with some more specific measurements so that I could base it off of those to get my cuts of wood. For the plywood that we are going to need for this build, we are going to need a 2, 12, 29 and a fourth inch planks for 4.5 by 29 and a fourth planks, for 10.5 by 3.75 planks, for 10 by 3.5 inches planks, one 10 by 59 and a fourth inch planks. And then for our 2 by 4s we're going to need a 7.5 inch plank, we're going to need two of those, and then eight 32.5 inch planks of that 2 by 4 Now I started out by doing a dry fit, just to test if everything went together, and then I got right into sanding. And I sanded around the edges, some of the flats of these pieces, just to give them a smoother finish after the cuts, to make them easier to assemble and easier to wrap when we get to the laminate section. Starting out with assembly, we're going to get one of our 12 by 29 and a fourth inch planks as well as two of our 4.5 by 29 and a fourth inch planks and run about three screws on each side through them, first counter sinking them with a drill bit and then inserting one of the one and three fourth inch screws. And then here I did get some measurements wrong, as long as you follow the measurements on screen you will be good to go. Just make sure you measure everything and plan for everything ahead of time so this doesn't happen. Now for these next front sides, using these smaller planks, we are going to be using two screws to insert these. And just starting with that same countersink and drill method with the 1 and 3 fourths inch screws. Once you get that set in and perfectly flush, just repeat that step with all four sides of both two tabletops. Now we will start with our one 10 by 59 and a fourth inch planks, our very long plank, as well as four of our 10 by 3.5 inch planks. And we will just be doing two screws throughout these on each plank to set them in place using the same countersink and one fourth screw drill method. Now please remember to actually wear your safety glasses on your eyes and not on your head as an accessory. They work a lot better that way. Once you have all these screws set in place, we are good to go for now for that top tabletop. Now we will start working with the eight 32 and a half inch two by fours to mount legs using around two screws on each side, the front side and the long side. And we're gonna be using countersinking as well as our two inch screws 
just to give the legs a little bit more stability. Now this piece is a little piece I made from my audio interface to mount under my desk. This isn't in the plans because this is optional and you can add whatever accessories you would like. Now we have the top shelf extension completed as well as both of these side tabletop extensions completed. And now we'll get into a little bit more sanding on the full product just to get down some of that plywood look, smoothen it out a little bit and clean up the edges. Now once everything's sanded and complete, I'll work on taking down my old setup just to make room for the extensions and for some of the things that we're going to alter to make kind of my new setup being a larger desk fit into place. Now we'll start with the dry fitment before we do anything to make sure that while we still have the wood, we can make any adjustments that we need to. And for me, my carpet is unlevel over at the section that my desk sits. So I did cut out a few of these little cardboard layers that we can set under those two by four legs just to give them a little bit of adjustability height wise so that we can meet everything up flush. Now taking the measurements of about how long these planks are, we roll out some of our laminate. It just kind of gives it a different glossy look finish and that is what my original desk is coated in. So that's what I went with here. So just using an assortment of different lengths of the laminate and an X-Acto knife, I cut it into place and wrapped it and set it in place for the dry fit to kind of see how it looked. Moving on to the two side extensions, we did that same method, just cutting at the corners, squaring it all off with an X-Acto knife and patching up wherever the wood was still showing. Now moving on to the legs, I did use a different color of laminate as well as there was an inserted piece that I didn't include in the plan just to stabilize two of the front legs together and those measurements will be on the screen right now. And this will once again just give more stability to these legs. Now with the desk wrapped, this is how it's looking so far. I'm loving the look and how it's coming together. But for me, I do use this technique where I do hang fabric as well as a tapestry to cover the walls of the unfinished walls in this area. So I'll proceed by cutting a few different lengths of fabric to even out my wall and tapestry because the tapestry is in the corner and now where the desk will be bigger, I want it to be centered with the rest of the room. So I will continue by cutting this strap of fabric, spacing out the tapestry a little bit more in the middle, as well as adding a bit of fabric underneath to cover up anything on the bottom side. And I'm applying this fabric and tapestry using an assortment of nails and all of these studs as well as some paper clips to attach some of the fabric. Now since we have everything in place, we have everything built, here it is.
I really love how this entire desk build turned out and having that shelf space, putting things under and being able to mount things on top really helps out and gives me a lot of extra space. If you did enjoy this, the plans are definitely there for you to be able to build it if you were ever interested. I'm super happy with my final product and I will probably do other extensions like this in the future. If you did enjoy, definitely make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you want to see any further content similar to this. Other than that, thank you so much for your time. As always, keep it G.